Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 167 pounds. Fighting out of Wanaku Hilo, Hawaii, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big, big land. Circling to his right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice body kick. Trying 
Trying to establish that jab once again. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Try to establish that jab. Head kick partially blocked. How good is that right hand? I mean, he's cutting them down to size with this beautiful leg kick. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Checks the leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Good body shot. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his whole body with that body kick. Beautiful strike. Liver kick. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh man, snapped his head back with the uppercut there. You can see him throw his entire body into that uppercut. The horn sounds for the end of round one. A right, lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us to the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Relax. You're fine. It's just a little blood. You've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. We like the taste of our own blood. Now's the chance to run. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw it on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That uppercut is good. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Slams to the body there. Look at the turnover in that kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. He lands with the left. Watch knees to the body. Big kick lands. Punches blocked. 
There's no tell on that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Goes to the body there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the strip. This is what happens when very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Blocks the shot to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Ooh, what a punch. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice punch by Lee. Just out of range with that right hook. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Beautiful, straight counter. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Went for the inside leg kick. Go, 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 go. 
big kick. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. They continue to exchange. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Just over three minutes to go. to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Punch over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. Out of range with that one. What a tricky head kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Please kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Lee's shot is blocked. You got to check these low leg kicks. A little single collar tie there. Oh. And he comes through with a big knee. Circling to his right. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Huge block there. Lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Clipped him with the right hand there. Two minutes now to go in this one.
blocks the shot. That's a good knee to the body. Effective punch there by Lee. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! Back to the feet. There's no kill in that leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Beautiful hit. What a fifteen minutes put forth. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, awesome. Judge two scores it, 9-46, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, awesome. All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some of yeah. those. Nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render this. John, it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got your fingers crossed, you got your toes crossed, you got everything crossed, hoping that two judges saw it your way.